The Sundon Park Centre in Luton is a long way from the sun and beaches of Rio de Janeiro, but today we're here to taste a bit of South America's carnival atmosphere with some Zumba dancing. All right! Today, cold, mm-hmm. uh, rainy March day. It's not exactly the sunny weather of Rio. What uh, what brought Zumba to you, or you to Zumba? Um, well, I originally used to dance Samba, which I've got obviously is um, from Rio de Janeiro. Right? And I just thought, you know, with the Zumba, how I got um, to know about it was that there was another girl who was a Samba dancer. She was teaching Zumba, and then I wanted to do some research as to what this Zumba is, what exactly it is. And with the Zumba, it's not just um, connected to Rio. It's uh, a fuse of Latin rhythms. So you've got rhythms from um, Cuba, Brazil, India, all different places. It's just a big mix of um, rhythms. And it was just the thing that attracted me is the fact that you're doing all different dance styles. So one minute you could be dancing samba, another minute you could be dancing salsa, or cumbia, or reggaeton, or even soca. So it's just a big mix. So it's very much a sort of fusion style. How did that come about? Um, it originally came about, um, it was actually um, created by um, a guy called Beto Perez, and he is from Colombia. And what actually happened was that he used to do dance classes, and one day he went to a dance class and he forgot his tapes behind for the dance class. So instead, he sort of um, made a class up, just using the tapes that he had in his car. So it was just a mixture of different sounds, so just mixing different dance styles, and that was how Zumba was born. Are there any sort of key moves that, uh, that Zumba's known for? Um, yeah, there's two main moves um, that normally if you go to a class you'll get some people doing. Um, there's the actual, what I would call the Zumba logo, which is just basically this. Um, do you want me to demonstrate it? Yeah, please. Right, so it's just basically, you're just coming out, it sort of goes out into the side, so it's like single, single and double, single, single and double. There's also another one which is a more tricky one, which some people refer to as a Vito 7. And it's just basically seven movements, but I just sort of adapt it and it's just cross over the ba, 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 ba. Seven movements. But when it's speeded up, <laughs> some people go, whoa! And I sort of add this at the end as well just to flower it up. So those are like the two main movements. <laughs> Pauline, you've come today to the Zumba class. How did you find it? It was fabulous. It was absolutely good. My first time, and it won't be the last time. Um, I've booked in for another lesson next week, and I can't wait to uh, to come. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. So. I came with my daughter. She goes, and uh, she encouraged me to come. And I came, and I think it's fantastic. Brilliant. I love music, and, uh, well, it's, it ticked all the boxes. Oh, that's marvellous. Thank you very much. So when did you start with Zumba? How long have you been doing this? I started in January and uh, this is the first class I've come to and stuck with it and Petula put on just one class a week in the daytime and then she introduced another one a few weeks ago so that's when I took up the second one. Right, and had you ever done any type of dancing before? I've done ballet which is nothing like Zumba but I've always been into dance so uh, this, this appealed to me more than than any other sort of keep fit class or anything so it's good fun it's a good party atmosphere it's actually growing it's um it's been going now for 10 years uh, zumba um but i think now it's just sort of really pushing out to you know the out of the cities and into the country areas into places like luton and hemel hempstead but I think with Zumba, it will still evolve because, as I say, it's not just Latin movements. I mean, we, we get things like flamenco, tango, your bangra in there. You've got so many different movements. And it's really great because it's not just going to the gym and just pushing weights. You're actually, you know, some of it is just um, fitness-based. Some of it is dance-based. But it's fitness in disguise. 
So that's the great thing about it is that you're burning off the calories and you're not even realising it. You're just having a good time, you're having a blast, you're having a party, enjoying yourself. And that's what I, I love to bring really, just to take people's minds away from the humdrum nine to five. There we go, exercise in disguise, Zumba dancing at Sundon Park in Luton. I've been Henry Harding for Local News TV.